What's going on out there, YouTube? This is Super SCL020. I'm here to give y'all a preview for my next music review that I'm about to be doing. The music review is going to be on WLAK, the group, for the album WLAK. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick excerpt from one of the tracks. It's the second track on the album. The name of the track is Imagine, or you could call it a Cypher. Um, but I'm going to give you about 46 seconds worth of an excerpt by one of the members. Now the group members are, it goes as follows, not in any specific order, <laughs> from better or worse, because each one of them have great talent. Um, you got Dream Mary, you got Christian Gray, you got Alex Faith, you got Swoop. The line that I'm actually going to be doing for this one is going to be Swoop's excerpt of it. So just hear it out. Okay. It goes as follows. Here for a reason, not a contingency, was an empty seed just a fetus formed from Matt Damon chemistry till the Timothy Trinity empty entered me with a reborn identity now I remember things I'm a king instantly cause I was bought with a lot of blood I enjoyed the, that invoice unemployed the boss got me fired up Jeremiah it up let's open the bible up speaking of 29 leap to 29 11 one one, uh uh. Look what his plans do to me. King lives inside of me. So what can man do to me? Cross got me fired up. What can clan do to me? Preach without a pulpit. Teach without a podium. Each with the tools that are given the word of sodium. They parch. <laughs> the saw I'm speaking of ain't jolly one. Because the only one only come to thirst for the king through his holy son, Jesus. Okay, I said that super slow. <laughs> I didn't even say it necessarily very right. I rounded a little bit of it. But it was so eloquently done by Swoop. Just from the end, after uh, Christian Gray's portion of this one song. And I was like, okay... What was all that? <laughs> that was 46 seconds. And again, this is just a preview of our review for the album. I'm going to probably make it about 30 something minutes long because it's such a good album. But I'm not going to give you my stars for it. I'm not going to give you my whole perspective of the whole album. I'm just going to talk to you about this as one verse specifically. Um, now, he said in one part of it, speak in a 29, leap 29, 1 1, uh uh. Look what his plan do to me. Okay? That's just one part that I was like, okay, all right, Jeremiah 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I was like, did he really go <laughs> In the aspect of what God has planned in store for us is so vast in what we can really comprehend, what we're entitled to, what our real inheritance is about. And he goes so smoothly in just 46 seconds, but yet... I mean, it's implanted, even though you don't realize what you're actually hearing. When you go back and listen to what you're repeating to yourself, that is positive reinforcements that's being infused into your spirit. And I was like, that's awesome. But I mean, then you think about another verse. And this, this is so interesting. King lives inside of me, so what can man do to me? Okay? God lives inside of us. No matter what your opposition is, if you go with the James 1, uh, 2 through 5, in the opposition, when you're going through the storm, uh, it's counted all joy, counted the time to joy, because God's going to elevate you, elevate your faith, because He lives in the side of you, chosen to give Him everything. And so, because of that, like man can do nothing. Even when you're going through your worst trials, they cannot harm you. Ultimately, they cannot destroy you, because God's got you. You know, but that's just that's just one part. So then, cross got me fired up. What can clan do to me? I was like, what? So the cross, of course, the cross is significant of uh, Jesus. Uh, crucifixion. Now uh, he, he died for our sins. It's it's an elevation of all of our sins that are taken and they're set up on the cross. He he died for us because of that. It's it's burnt. It's gone. Jesus is off the cross. And so I was like, what can Clan do to me? So I know everybody's seen Jesus walks from Kanye West, of course that video. But think about the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, the signature is putting a cross in the lawn, setting on fire. That's the warning sign. That's not going to hurt you. I mean, he just, he just goes so many different levels in just 47 seconds. But then, 
this is the one line that actually messed up. And I'll reread it. Each with the tools that's given to given the world the sodium because they are parched. The salt I'm speaking of ain't the Joe Lee one. So the movie Salt is from Angela G. She's actually a secret operative, whatever. Not going to spoil that movie. But the whole essence behind that, he was going about the fact that we as a people and the world were actually needing uh, a <laughs> living Holy Spirit water. We're parched. We got, like, <laughs> we got salt in the sense of instead of having full water. And it's just, that was only 47 seconds. And I didn't even go into Christian Gray's verse. I didn't go into Alex, Alex uh, Faith's verse. I didn't go into Dre's Mary's verse. I just went on this one thing. So, just giving y'all a heads up on that. That's just my preview. A quick excerpt from Imagine from WLAK. Look forward to me doing a review of WLAK's full entire album. Look forward to me doing a review on Dre Mirror's new album. That is really good as well. And then I'm also going to do a review on uh, Fred Hammond's new album. Or kind of last year. It's kind of beginning this year. Uh, United Tenors. It was... It was, it was it was deep as well. But those three albums I've got full reviews coming up very soon. Look for it. This is Super SEL0300. Signing out. Y'all have a good one.